Well, here's the last update from Jasper on the school. And I got some of it done. Well, actually, it's 90% done. And I got the flag up. Not the best job. I didn't have any one by one plates, so I just kind of used some clear tiles and round stud things. And, you know, it looks good. I'm happy with it. But it was a very easy construction, so it looks really good from the side. Um, got some light poles. I finished this off with brick. Here's a little hint. Every time I go to Lego.com and order parts or, or a set or something like that, I always order extra red tiles, the dark red ones. They always look good for any of my designs. That's something I recommend. Um, these right here are going to be for grates, or grills. I'm going to stick them in here for um, just like, you know how you got the, this, you know, like the drainage and stuff like that. I think that's going to look good. I need to put a thing here for a, uh, a stop sign for a... Um, a school bus. I might take these out and make this an er an orange or a yellow curb for you know for the school bus. And I promised a bell tower, so let's look up here, and there it is. Um, I borrowed this idea from the um, fire brigade because it was the only thing I could think of. I tried different types of bells, but it didn't really work. So I just kind of borrowed the idea from the fire brigade, and it actually swings back and forth. You guys were asking about a bell tower. I know it looks kind of small for the school, but, you know, hey. But it's pretty much done. The back is still the same. Let's take a peek. Well, that's where my bag of chips went. All right, so, yeah. And I've had some of you guys ask me about the... That black, I should make it red. I'm going to do that. I don't have any of these 30 degree double slopes right here. I don't have any of these red, so I'm just going to have to bring it up. That's fine. I don't, you know, I don't really care. But yeah, this is pretty good. And that's the school here. So the only thing I have left to worry about is the playground. So all the other updates will either be tutorials of the playground or it'll be anything of the playground. Um, this will be the last you guys will see of this until the final thing's done. But so you guys are asking me why is there nothing in here because some of the rooms right now already have furnishings in them and I don't want to spoil the surprise. You know, I don't, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, let's see, the entrance still has a lot of tiles and stuff in there. I'm saving all the gray tiles I can find. Um, there's a whole bunch of gray tiles here. I'm going to go through them and see what I have. I'm trying to look for more of those 2x2 two two dark grays. So I think I have enough of them. A lot of yellow brick. I pulled out as much as I can uh, to build that school bus. The only thing I'm going to be short on is windows. So here is the school bus. Some of you guys are asking me to show this and I just kind of threw it together just to see. I don't have any of these type of windows and I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this on a budget so I'm not going to order any windows. I'll see what else I can do with it. I'm surprised I had these windows right here. So there's the school bus. Let's see how well it comes out. So just imagine the school bus pulling up right next to this. It's gonna look pretty good. So that's one of the that's gonna be the vehicle that's gonna be with it. Now some of you guys were asking me how do I get my smooth tiles up? Because I get tons of requests for that. I have an old screwdriver that I used to do back when I was doing electronics repair. And this is what I'm using here. Just a simple uh, flathead. Problem with this thing was it's a little bent. If I can get the cam to zoom in, which it's probably not. Let's see here. You can see that the tip here is slightly bent. So I just, if I want to pull up a tile, I can just sit here and stick this underneath here really gently and just kind of slowly work it up. And it's easier to get them out than trying to use my fingernail, which a lot of people do. I used to do that. and My nails would be all torn up. You know, if I'm a guy, I really don't, you know, but, you know, I don't want my nails all chipped and stuff. So, it's, the, the, this, this little screwdriver here saves a lot of time, and it's better than wearing down my hands trying to take that stuff out. Now, this is going to be a modular building type thing. Now, I don't know, um, 
this should be sitting on its own block, so what I'm probably going to do is continue this curb all the way out to the sides here. I haven't made up my mind yet. So that's something else. I might just maybe slide it in between some. I don't have any other modular buildings up, so it's just this is just something fun. So anyways, that is the update. The next stuff will either be tutorials on the school, or parts of it, or, um, or reviews of the playground. So, you know, stay tuned, stick around, and I'll show you all that stuff. Thank you for watching.